Well, my name is Heather and I work for Patterson Dental. Today I'm going to be showing you about the quick pick buttons within the charting functionality within EagleSoft. The quick pick buttons are when are these icons right over here to the right hand side next to the odontogram. The reason you want to use these quick pick buttons is it makes it a lot easier for you to treatment plan, be able to put on existing restorations, be able to propose items for the next visit, and it just makes your life a little bit easier and faster than searching for each service code under the service icon here. Now, the first step that I want to talk about is making sure that you are running a report. I think it makes it a lot easier while you're trying to navigate the quick pick buttons, what, I, what service codes you have under each, um, under each icon. So I'm going to go to reports. I'm just going to type P on my, the Q letter on my keyboard and I'm gonna select the quick pick master report and process it. Now, what that's going to do is it's gonna break down each code that I have under each item. So under each button group, I have an exam button, I have an x-ray button, I have an adult profile button, I have a child profile button, I have perio, so on and so forth. Now, I would suggest printing this out and looking at the codes. When you, If you're just getting the charting functionality within EagleSoft, Patterson does have certain codes uploaded into those buttons. So some of them are gonna be relevant to what your practice uses and some of them aren't. So we wanna make sure that we're taking a pick button that you are not using because the whole point of it is to make things faster and easier for you. So if you have a bunch of codes that you're not using, it defeats the purpose. So that way you can cross off and make sure you have a list next to you of which ones you wanna remove from that list. How you add the icon to the button is you're going to first go under file and go to preferences and there's a quick pick icon right here this button group the first if i were to click on button number one whatever service code i pick for that button is going to be the name of that button so you want to make sure like i have exam for that first one so i'll hit use and then now it's going to have that icon right there if I want to add other icons under that, I'll show you how to do that next. But just to keep in mind, the name and what's going to show up on that button is going to be from that service code. You can edit that service code. And here's the name, the display abbreviation. So the display abbreviation is going to be what the name is on the quick pick button within your chart. So just keep that in mind as we go forward. So I'm going to X out of that. I'm going to hit OK. So this is where you can, if you right click on a button, let's say I don't want this bleach one. If I right click on it with my key, with my mouse, now it's now undesigned. So if I click on that button, I can go and I can choose a different code to change that button group that way. So that's how you remove a service code from the icon. Hit OK. To add different service codes for the rest of the buttons, I'm going to go to list. And I'm going to go down to service codes. And let's say that I want this adult profi, one of my exploding codes added under a button. I'm going to hit edit. Oh, I have to, I'm sorry. I have to do that from the exploding code screen. So I, this is the service code that I'm gonna to have to find a service code. So I want a comp exam. I'm gonna edit that comp exam. If you go over to the chart button right here on the right hand side, hit chart in this button group right here, this drop down is where I'm going to be able to pick which button group I want to add that one under. Obviously, I'm going to want it under my exams. If there's a service code in that quick in that report that you looked at that you don't want, you're going to want to look for that service code, edit it, go to chart setup, and you're going to choose none. That's how you're going to remove it from that button group. So this is either how you remove it or how you add a service code to that quick pick button. Hit OK. Close. Now when I go into that patient's chart. You can select which icon and which button you want to add onto that. So let's say I'm going to add bite wings for this patient. I'm proposing them. I'm going to hit OK and save. And that's eliminates me from having to go to the service button, either type in the service code and find each code under that one. So that's how you add it and edit your button group for your quick fix button. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.